the development we already talked about that one and now we try to um, uh, you can run it like this application like here the spring boot uh, the run run as or run as, as, a, as a spring boot application then you can you can do the, the all test all all the web, web pages checks and even though then and, and gone for for me i try to 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 really really export really really deploy this application externally so what i go did just like go there and run and and maven maven uh, then go to the run as and install the maven that means and then it's easy it will pack your your application as a as executable jar files and produce the the jar files into the target directory so here you see the the interactions we see the here the I already did the two release on the 1.0.0.1.0, and then this is the final release that I have it initially, and that means this this help which release you are now on, and what's the next release, what's the features and updated, and you can do the, this way. So that means just I did the installation for the Maven and build the co then copy this the jar file to the our local directory and respective directory, and then then put it here my respective directory it look like here. So here, our I already discussed about this in my previous screencast, and this is how we set the environmental variables. And then you see you have to run the the uh, the your your this is the jar files we already copied it here, and then this is the, your startup server. Uh, the the definition of the uh, which port has to be run, at which machine has to be run, and which web service has to be run. Uh, this web service is running here. You see, already saw this running service is running here. So it's all information is logged in because we did some test in the in the in the in the in the in the, in the server side, and you see the every record and even though see the every queries of the information. So we pass it the schools as a, as input parameter at the type, and this is all things is happening. So how many record is getting and how much record you get it. All the information is which query is running and which functionality is running is here. So. Now we, 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 we build our web application, we put it as the executable jar files. Now we need to execute those jar files. So here is the executable jar file. Let's see, we, we comment it. And then we see the directory path. So here is our, our, our applications. Then we need to write, this is our executable jar files. And here, so we need to uh, start, start, uh, sir, service application the, the script and it will it will run uh, will your web application based on your environmental settings which web service has to be called where the username and password database user and password for the for the for the web application you don't need to set the user need default this is the sth2 h2 database in the embedded spring boot applications So for the for the web service application, you need to set those those uh, database application because I say the last year screencast is a, is a PostGIS SQL uh, PostGIS SQL based database or in, with the PostGIS. And so they see that the, our our version is running, and this is the dev environment the set is this true, and then the support has to be come up together. So its application is properly running, I think so. Let's see. It has to become our final port. The Tomcat has to be started. So information is there. So it, this is the our application is started. So now we can go to the, our browser because we set our URL path. And is here is the our browser. You see the our local host and this is the port of the our application. If you have deployed this any this application web application any part in the world, then you have to change your your domain name or your machine name and the port number, and this is the default URL for the for the for the index. So this is the index JSP page. You see the index page. I I did. I am not expert in the web development, so just I did it just like very, very not very not not too good in the in the web page. And just I, I call the functionality and see the how it's happening. So this is the web page, the home page, and you see the our, our road buildings, land use, POI places, nature and railways and waterways information. What I need it to, so, so let's have a search our 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 road information in the web service is returning. So 
Oh, here is information. So you see the all the information is directly calling the is called the basic, uh, the URL and this is the part of the the call, the action call, the controller call, and this information that I have it in the in the in the road information. So we set it in maximum one one hundred or so tens or twenty depending. And this is the the search criteria that you need to you can search it and bypass it how many records you need it and then you can set it is all the phasing conditions and then level and so. Even though you can improve a lot of things here, in the you can write a beautiful JavaScript uh, uh, with uh, with the uh, Ajax call, and you can do the beautiful CSS. Uh, all all cosmetic things you can do it as a as a, as a good uh, web developer. Uh, but but I am, I said I am not a really good develop, web developer, so I just did the functionalities. I did really little bit in the CSS that I I explained here uh, in the in the in the in the in the resource directory as a static CSS, some CSS here and our image and then and so on and so forth. You can do a lot of things in the, in the controlation of the of the of the beautification of these pages and even though the rearranging the pages and then information. So, so the main job was to consume the web services and build a web, web pages with the team lead. That's what the intention was and it's 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 looked like perfectly working. So I go back to there in the home page and then even though you can develop the all navigators or all things and so you see we see that here is a building service call you see that here is a building service call and and the all the information that says required what's parameter you set and you can search it and then go on go on go forth and so on so forth and this is the the, the interactions the page and so here is our land use call the same thing so it's a land use call and so on and so forth. As a more information, it's geometrical information because the idea was to maybe I, I will produce such a such a web application and then then you call the Google Maps and Google Maps or Open Street Maps and then I put it like here in the, this information to the maps and you can see that really where exactly located those those objects or geometries. Yeah, and normally I work with the this application, this data from the OpenStreetMap coming uh, for the data from Bangladesh is 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 used for for these applications to because this is free. You can download any country in the world and build an application and put the data in the your PostgreSQL or PostGIS database and call build the development web service development and then call this web service to the to the to the to the web pages via TimeLib or any template engine. So POI point of interface is working. I think so. It's perfectly working. So it's a point geometry. Uh, it's a very simple geometry. This is really, this is really faster. Uh, as a point geometry, you can search by something, and even though all the information, even search by ID, 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 type and name, and so on, so forth. If you need more additional information, maybe you can search by by geometry. You can set the coordinates and set the diameters of the search criteria and look for them. But this functionality is still I have to write something uh, to the to the business level or even the in the control level or in service definition level. Or even though we can go to the down level also then in the web service definition level, you can build a very special functions and, and they build the, the, all the geo processing tasks. I will do maybe if you have, have enough time to do such a such a such geo functionalities. But I have already in the in my channel uh, four or five videos about the geo functionalities you can how can handle the maps and put it the data into maps and so do some geo processing tasks. So here is the, our places. Uh, places means the uh, the important places in the in the city area, and and then the, the you see the lot of geometry, the big geometry is really a lot of covers, a lot of data, and then that's and then there's natures. Uh, the nature means the the green in green parking area or green places or what it is is nature. Uh, so the multi polygons. And then see the information. The river bank, or the or is it is something very special. The water lakes and recreational places, and then park and the forest area, and then so on, so forth. So then you have the railways information for in overall the country in, in Bangladesh. And you can say it which railway connections, uh, uh, which which railway is located. Uh, this information you can see the the networks of the railways. So we put it like the 10, 10 informations in, in these pages. 
uh, then what is the in Bangladesh, how many records? There's more records. Maybe if we filter it like 10 or 15, I don't know. Maybe the set of parameters. So uh, we, we check our web pages. It's, 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 it's properly working. And this is the URL. We deploy our, we, we run our web services. And then we deploy our web applications. And we check it, our application. And it's, it's, it's look like properly working. But what you need to do here to do some, some, uh, some web, web, web beautification cards. Here is how, how many records and then do some beautification and, and set some beautiful search criteria and combination of parameters and do something with that, that parameter combination. So, so as a functionalities is, is working properly, but we still, we are missing, uh, beautification jobs. Then you can do continue with, uh, as, as a really good web developer, you can handle those, those things together. So that means in the very beginning, we we deploy we really we, we develop our web services we deploy our web services to the any machine other machines or in for my case local machine we call the web services by a rest template apis and we build our web pages by a spring boot um, time living template engines and then we see the our web pages is 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 very easy but it's, it's, it's i did it like like structure way and professional way how can you handle it and at the very end just you can go there to take uh, my older videos you can go my my channel uv subgrouped you see it here there is a subgroup and then all the information videos that's i have it here so what i said that the last videos in uh, uh, 30 to 36 this is the development is job is here so this is a requirement page and this is the the project input and developments with with id respective id is this is the, the project and uh, important development part and this is the, the the server side test in the in the in the web service level and this is the deployment and configuration of the web service how can you deploy and after that you can run the all the all the test cases all the combination of the parameter with the postman and uh, google postman and and then and then now i will include the the screencast just i have it in the for the web development part maybe six or seven screen uh, screencast and here and please follow those screencast uh, for developing the web web uh, web uh, web services restful web services and then and then in develop the web applications and uh, please follow follow the the subscribe the channels and then if you subscribe it and build push the build button and get the new upcoming videos and and put it in your commands to improve the improve my channel activities or i can say improve my development even though improve my professional uh, careers to 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 do that i try to this is my volunteer works and uh, in my free time works i try to share my knowledge with the communities and you can share with the, your knowledge to with the communities to writing some commands and give the feedback with that one so so that means thank you all if you have any questions please leave the command in the below my channels and i will try to answer the all questions that you 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 have and and uh, please subscribe the channels uh, to get the upcoming videos thanks for uh, thanks and bye bye goodbye and have a nice day